Yes. I have another suggestion. Call for the arrest of the Phantom Thieves, then mobilize the police. The rest will go as you mentioned. <laughs> See? He's talking to someone. I don't think he's the one in control of all this. Still, I'm truly amazed at the atrocious methods you come up with. It's not Psy, either. Okay, like, if it has to be someone that's been introduced into the story at this point, there's only, I'm, I'm thinking there's only like two people it could possibly be. Because I don't think, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure he's not the orchestrator based on that conversation right there. I'm almost 100% sure. I don't think it's Sai Nijima either. I'm, I would put that in the 90% sure category, it's not Sai, because she seems to be controlled. And I think that at some point, like, the director had said something like, we gotta get rid of her too. So, like, that leaves only two people that I know that's been introduced in the story that it could possibly be. It has to be either a catchy or it has to be that politician whose name I don't remember if it's been said. Because... I have slept a long time and they haven't been repeating the, that guy's name if it's been said. So those are the only two people it could possibly be, right? Am I wrong? That's that has to be it. Probably some idiots with a misguided sense of justice. Look, can they just arrest those guys already? Special Investigations is on it. I'm sure they'll be caught soon. What kind of people are they? I want to see what they look like. Uh, what's going on? I totally froze up when the cops talked to me. I bet they consider me a, a suspect now. How much longer are they gonna do this? We should be busy preparing for the school festival right now. Why'd the school decide to have the festival so late anyway? I mean, changing the date just because our school is all over the news? Moving it to the next Tuesday only makes more work for us. We won't be able to invite friends from other schools now that they're holding the festival on a weekday. It'll also be an inconvenience if there's anyone we've already invited. What about the post-festival party? Will there be enough people for the student sharing special? It's gonna be a real weird festival with morale so low. That's true. Speaking of annoying media, we've been getting phone calls in the faculty office. The absurdity of all. Who exactly are the Phantom Thieves? That's what we want to know. We already have no clue what method they're using. Killing someone without directly interacting with them is like magic. Speaking of magic, did you know that there's a magic in math too? A magic square. It's a square in which adding up the number in any row, column, or diagonal gives you the same total. Polka song. Please look at this. Like Sudoku? Do you know this one? What number should be in the middle of the square in order to make it a magic square? Okay, hold on. Um... I used to love doing these. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry, this was actually a pretty easy solution. Um, I actually came up with it immediately as soon as I, I uh, went to look at it. But, um... Here, I will, uh... Actually wanna kind of show you guys what I was doing. Yeah, let it. So, um, just to give you an idea of what I was, uh, what I was looking at, it, it was this. So, I, <laughs> I, I used to do a lot of Sudoku when I was, um, and this was like back in middle school, because I'm a boring person. Um, but I, uh, I actually really love solving Sudoku puzzles, and I, as soon as I, I took one quick look at it, I was like, I believe that bottom square, the one with the one, is a one. And once you solve that, it kind of just fell into place. Um, so yeah, easy puzzle. <laughs> Correct. A 3x3 square only has one pattern, but a 4x4 square has 880 possibilities. In a 5x5 five five square, there can, are more than 200 million. Can you believe that? Okay, hold on. 
This is probably going to be, like, part of the quiz. The thing is, is whenever they give you a quiz, it's either, like, directly what they asked you, or it's one of these indirect questions. So, 880 or 200 million, depending on 4x4. Four four. I, I can think I can remember that. So, less than 900, 4x4, four four, and 200 million, or a 5x5. Five five. Nice going! See how well I remember that later. All right. If you had to choose, would you try to find the Phantom Thieves or solve 200 million magic squares? I choose the magic squares, hands down. They might both be magic, but magic squares can be calculated, and math doesn't kill anyone. Hmm. Having everyone out there looking for the culprit is getting me down. I mean, what can you do? That's just. The life we live now. So, what do we gotta do as the school festival's EZEC commu community? I'll need some help with the questionnaires. What questionnaires? The ones regarding who people want to see as the guest of honor. Oh, right! The thing they do every year! You mean how those lame guests come do a panel, right? The festival dates were changed because of the situation. We need to hurry and tally the results. Come to the student council room once classes are over. Ugh, that's so damn boring. Don't be like that. It's so we can meet up without standing out. Let's do what we can at the moment. I'm making sure to do work hard at home. But you do that all the time. I can look stuff up. So did you find anything, Haru? About that. No good, huh? I'm sorry. I'll rouse suspicion if I ask too many detailed questions. No worries. I'll manage on my end somehow. They're counting on you. I can't go, but message me if anything happens. I'll leave this to you guys. My apologies, but I cannot be of much help in this situation. Damn it. We don't have time to be doing crap like this. Ryuji, please be quiet. Thank you. You don't need to keep mentioning it. We're doing this to keep suspicions off of us, remember? Goro Akechi. This one too, uh, catchy. They're mostly the same over here as well. Everyone's so eloquent when they can be anonymous. It's like they never accepted us to begin with. It would be nice if you did some work too, Ryuji-kun. You came to help us count these, right? Come on, leader. Can you tell him too? Just relax, Ryuji. Aren't you taking this a little too lightly? I want him to calm down. Oh, look here. This ain't good. Criminal profiling? The acts of thievery committed by the Phantom Thieves are mere fakes. And their true goal is murder? Every heart they changed before Okumura was just a warm-up? Uh, so now they're accusing us of being a bunch of killers. <sighs> God, this is so effing stupid! Damn it! Yuji Sakamoto. A real heart to heart right now. Stop. I really don't want us. Like, we know that the police are still around here! Can you just be quiet? Just deep breaths. Just deep breaths. We have the results. First place is Goro Akechi. What? Akechi? What are you so surprised for? We've been mentioning him this whole time! Seriously? Not some singer or an idol? It's because of us that his popularity has skyrocketed. We're the ones counting the results. Can't we just make him up? We don't have to get him. People will figure that out. He won by a landslide. I knew people would vote for him, but this is way more votes than I was expecting. It would be best for us to avoid inviting such a clear danger upon ourselves. I'd like a little more time to think about who to ask. That reminds me, how was Futaba-chan doing? She seemed like she was looking into something on her own. Has she told you anything? Let's leave it to her. 
You're not gonna get arrested because the police tracked her down, right? That's the last thing we need now. <sighs> Ryuji, please be quiet. Even one clue would work wonders for us. We should let her continue with her own investigation. I hope she finds something. Hey. In response to the police identifying the Phantom Thieves as primary suspects, Goro Akechi had this to say. Even though my opinion has been met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicious deaths is unrelated to their actions. What? W what? Did I hear you correctly? But Akechi-san, you were the first to caution everyone about the Phantom Thieves. Were you not? This doesn't change the fact that they are indeed a dangerous group. That said, I would like to express that immediately linking them to this case is far too hasty. There are still many questions to be answered here. It feels as though there is more to this. After this conference, Akechi-san announced he will be limiting his media appearances and... I wonder why the sudden change. Is this another trap? We're stuck on my Okamura investigation. Seriously? Even you're having trouble with this shit? What can we do? Let's meet up and discuss our options as soon as possible. Tomorrow? The earlier the better, right? Though I still haven't come up with anything myself. It said two heads are better than one, so I can only imagine what eight heads may produce. That's a good way of thinking. It's totally an Inari idea. Hey, let's do everything we can right now, even if it means crossing some dangerous bridges. Considering how far we've come, we can't be particular about our methodology. What are you staring at your phone like that for? Oh, are you going through a breakup? That's not it. <laughs> Whoa, no need to deny it so seriously. It's just a joke. <laughs> By the way... You haven't been causing any trouble, have you? Define trouble. I heard the police showed up at your school. No need to worry. As long as you're not getting involved. <sighs> well, fine. <sighs> Please. All right. Like, okay, so like someone had told me, well, not someone, several people had told me that like I could see what people I could hang out with by pressing square, and I totally haven't done it until now. <laughs> um, so I can, I can go hang out with uh, that guy, he's the only one I can hang out with. Might as well. Yoga enthusiast, stop by if you can. <sighs> getting crazy out there with all those incidents happening. Well, it'll make my job easier if the cops have their attention elsewhere, you know. So, you're here because you saw my message, right? Uh, I want to work. There's a job I need you to do. Don't worry, it ain't that difficult. I'm sure you can handle it. Alright. Yeah, let's hang out. I'm gonna meet with a guy at the diner after this. I need you to sit close by. When I give you the signal, call me. The signal is when I cough, got it? Let's okay, go. let's go. Well, I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. A diner, huh? I thought only old farts come to places like this. You've really changed, Mune-san. <laughs> hey, don't knock this place. It's pretty decent and cheap, too. Huh, this coming from the guy who beat the crap out of 50 rival gang members. You don't need to exaggerate. Anyway, what'd you want to talk about? Yeah. Oh, How'd Suda doing? Same as always. Why? What's up? Oh, nothing. Just 
saw him around the other day. Hold up. Didn't you two cut ties when you left the family? Why are you asking about him now? Well, I mean, they were both young. I just figured it's about time that we buried the hatchet. You can't just go up and talk to him, though. Oh, I get ya. You're still trying to uphold the old code of honor, huh? Okay, I'll tell him you want to meet up. Don't say know stupid shit like that. They just want to end up in the same place at the same time. It's gotta look like a coincidence. In that case, Shibara might be work. You know, we're talking about redeveloping it. Shibara. <coughs> Maybe I should call him. Huh? You sick or something? Nah, it's just the cold. Hello? Yeah, how's it going? What? Your order's all wrong? My bad. I'll get back and take care of that right away. Sorry. Sorry, I gotta run. Work shit. Let's talk some other time, yeah? Mm, see ya. Hey. Don't hang up. Maz is still on the phone, right? Just stay quiet so I can hear what he's saying. Tsuda-san, it's Maza. Ooh, I was asking about you. I did just like you told me, though. The hell are you looking at? I was daydreaming, sorry. No, nah, it's nothing. Just some weird kid staring at me. Anyways, Ooh, I probably heard about that deal of yours, and now he's trying to squeeze some cash out of you. Oh, sorry. No, it's... Yes. Sorry. Yes, I understand. A deal. Sounds like there's some weird stuff going down. What should I do now? You're all good for today. I'll have to thank you in person later. At any rate, I honestly wasn't expecting too much out of you. <laughs> it looks like you're gonna actually be some use to me. I'll be counting on you, kid. I feel like my bond with EY is get growing deeper. Alright. I think I did alright. Good work today. Order yourself something nice as a reward. Oh, and bring me back the receipt so I can pay you back. Later. For it. Well, later. I feel like helping EY with his work has honed my proficiency. Oh my god, yes. That's the one that's falling behind. Yeah! Oh, it's gonna be great hanging out with him. Free proficiency? That's something I messed up on, was that I focused really hard on, like, developing my, my social stats instead of just, like, hanging out with people. We're gonna lose more popularity? That makes me happy. What does that detective think he's doing? He's just trying to get popular, isn't he? He wants to stand out. Just hurry up and arrest the Phantom Thieves already. I'm curious. It seems like he knows something. I bet he totally found out some really juicy secret. Oh. Does he know who we are? Because he saw, like, he knew we went into that Okamura's palace, didn't he? Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. You didn't make a mistake, it's fine. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking a Kechikun. For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous. But without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network. And I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. She says that it's a positive, but I, I I, feel like that's a negative. I feel like he's trying to... I feel 
like he's trying to catch us. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble. And the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite Akechi-kun? There's two sides to this. If we don't invite him after we polled people on what they wanted, they're gonna think that this is some sort of collusion and it would look bad. So regardless, I, I think we, we should invite him, but I don't like it. I'll leave it to you. In that case, I'll do it. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. Hold on, how are we even going to get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. Actually, she does, doesn't she? We have all the data from the PC of a public prosecutor. Finding his phone number was a no-brainer. Is it gonna be weird that we know it? Damn, you're real impressive. But then, wouldn't he wonder how we acquired his number? I'll just say my sister had it. That isn't even technically a lie. Can you send me the number, Futaba? I'll contact him right away. I gotta say, I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec, didn't he say he wasn't gonna do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we gonna do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. We're counting on you, Makoto. <sighs> Who would have thought we'd end up relying on Akechi? I don't feel good about this. If you have time, can you help me prepare dinner? Yes, let's help him out. All Thanks. right then. Utaba's coming to eat today too. We'll get the curry ready. I'm leaving the coffee to you. Hmm. <laughs> Phew. I'm wicked full. How was the curry, Futaba? Delicious. I'm going to be dreaming of that stuff tonight. Um. Did you taste? Did it? T um. Did it taste the same as you remember it? Yup. I feel like a dummy for not wanting to eat it back when I was depressed about my mom. Oh, oh yeah! That's right. The first episode of this brand new anime I want to watch is airing tonight. I'm out of here. Eyes in front of you when you walk, okay? No spacing out. You ran headfirst into a pole last time you went for a walk. Well, you stubbed your toe on the dresser the other day. Oh, crap. It's gonna start making like a leaf and, uh, screw it. Bye! She thought it was delicious. And what about you? I think I'm addicted. <laughs> really? I guess you have a pretty good taste if you can understand how incredible that curry is. I love curry. It's like my favorite of all the foods on this planet. It really is. I don't think there's anything I love on this planet more than curry. In terms of food, I mean. <laughs> like... It's so good. I love things that are like spicy, but I also like how much spices and flavor curry has. Just really like, it's so strong and delicious. And I know there's like all kinds of curry out there. Um, like I grew up eating a lot of Korean curry, but and this is just me. I really like, I put like, Japanese curry at the top and then followed by Thai curry like as I love Thai curry as well. It, I really do 
And my mouth, my mouth is already salivating at the thought of curry. It's so good. I love curry. And I, and I honestly could eat any kind of like combination of any type of curry. Like, it's just so good. It has to have like, there are some requirements for my curry. One, I want it to be spicy. I don't like the other kinds as much. So I prefer spicy curry. And if it comes with rice, seriously, one of my most favorite foods. Um, following that probably uh oh, see i'm i love all kinds of foods i'm not that picky but yeah curry's number one <laughs> now then there's something i should probably tell you here take a seat i'll pour you some coffee yeah Remember how I said the recipe for this curry was developed by a scientific genius? It was her mom, wasn't it? You might have realized by now, but that genius was Futaba's mother, Wakaba. In other words, that curry is one of the last remaining connections Futaba has to her mom. I first met Wakaba back when I was doing work for the government. She was a real trouble, let me tell you. Logic prevailed over emotion for her, and she had an intricate knowledge of the human mind. I thought my pickup lines were the best in town, but not a single one worked on her. <laughs> Was she like Futaba? You could say that. It was never clear what she was thinking, so I had a hard time trying to keep up with her. Men are idiots, though. We spend our time chasing after things we can't get. Wakaba rejected me time and time again. There was one instance I managed to surprise her, and that was when I gave her a plate of my homemade curry. The very next day, she came asking all about the ingredients and what goes into the cooking process. Then just a few days later, she handed me a scientifically enhanced version of my recipe. It was incredible. She had used my curry as the basis, but it was miles better than anything I made. Curry was one of... Curry was Wakaba's specialty from then on. Naturally, Futaba grew to love it in no time as well. But then after Wakaba's accident, Futaba stopped eating it entirely. The flavor would make her remember the pain. I've heard even smells can bring back memories too. But that curry was the only point of connection I had with Futaba. That's why I took her in. I vowed to keep this recipe alive until she could eat it again. It really paid off in the end. Yeah, it felt like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders when she said it was delicious. The whole idea of pairing the curry with a nice brew is thanks to Wakaba's refinement too. Despite how introverted she seemed, she was extraordinarily perceptive of the people around her. Never even told her of my, about my love of coffee. She figured it out just from looking at me. That was when I realized she was totally out of my league. Not like I really stood a chance to begin with, though. She already had Futaba by then, after all. This might seem like any old curry to most people, but there's tons of emotions crammed inside. So, uh, make sure you keep the tradition going. I feel like my bond with Sojuro is growing deeper. I love Sojuro. He is such a nice guy. One All of my right. favorite characters from the series. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of this for tonight. Things are getting downright sappy in here. Futaba's waiting for me at home, too, so I should probably be heading back. Make sure you clean you. up before you go to bed. I can see the compassion hidden beneath Sojiro's actions. I feel my kindness is growing. I've been getting a lot of kindness points lately. Alright. That is easily going to max out by the end of this playthrough. Hey. You hear who we're getting for our guest this year? Oh, you mean a catchy, right? Kinda saw that coming. Everyone I know voted for him. Didn't he say he wasn't gonna make any more appearances, though? Why'd he agree to come here? Probably has to do with the Phantom Thieves. Wasn't a catchy going around saying how evil they were before? Oh yeah, that proves they're connected to our school somehow, then. Hey, you're right! Maybe he'll tell us some stuff about the case. No way am I going to miss the panel this year. Mm. <laughs> they just say whatever they want with no thought. But for now, we'll just need to endure it. At least until we can get some more intel. Okay, class, let's get started. The school festival's tomorrow. Have you made all your preparations? 
I'm the advisor for the ESS, so I'll be help busy helping them today. ESS stands for English Study Society, by the way. We need to advertise that Shujin's a school that provides an education you can use anywhere in the world. Hey, Mr. Polkra. There are tons of three-letter acronyms like ESS in the world. I need an answer. Can you tell me what the S in SOS means? It means save. Save our ship or something like that. What? What? SOS is often said to mean save our ship. Save our souls is another interpretation too. But in reality, it's not an acronym of anything. It's just the simplest thing you can send in Morse code in an emergency. If you haven't finished preparing for the festival though, it's too late to send an SOS now. Are you kidding me? No, that's stupid. That's stupid. No, I'm right. I'm right. I refuse. Guys, I'm right. Guys. No. No, 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 no. I answered that immediately, so, I, like, no, it's, it's save our ship. I refuse to accept that. Miss <laughs> Truono, you're now on the list of people I hate. The school festival isn't just a time for you students to goof off. It's an important event where we invite prospective students, PTA members, and the like to attend. This time we have a catchy sand for a panel. There will be twice as many guests even though it's a weekday. I'll have to spend twice as much time on my makeup, too. Be on your best behavior, got it? I hate you. I am with Kawakami on this one. I hate you. Is Akechi really gonna be there? Whoa, I hate this woman. Uh, I wonder what score. A little higher than the average score. Yeah. It's fine. I didn't expect to ace it because I messed up two questions. What is happening now? Any word from the kitchen? Nothing. But tomorrow's the start of the school festival. Will this be okay? If the kitchen declines our offer, we won't have a guest. Huh? That's what you're worried about? I appreciate the concern, but it will be fine. We just need to get Akechi Kun to agree to this summer. Yup! What's that bastard up to, anyways? He hasn't done anything since he said he was going to go into hiding. I'm not sure. I'll try explaining the circumstance surrounding the school festival to him again. Hopefully, you can give me a response by the end of the day. I'll let you know if I make any progress on that front. Hey, Polkra! You! Pay attention! Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I should be able to dodge it again, right? No way. Whatever, moving on. Oh, you've got the entire class's attention. Your charm has definitely increased. Alright. Welcome home. I have a real bad feeling about you. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. You're back awfully late. Uh, I go to school and then I come home. How has business been for you lately? <laughs> Take a look around. Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a... Difference of opinion. What are your thoughts, Representative Shino? He doesn't like it that doesn't guy. It doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. That man's voice. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused. And we'll henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This is an important undertaking. 
and one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Man, this guy is admirable. Rampant political scandals, thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. Yeah, I recognized him. I feel like I've met that man somewhere before. What are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creeping me out. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried, moron. You're obstructing business. Oh, sorry. That politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. You ever heard of the thing, if something seems too true, it, it often is? Don't you think, boss? Sorry, wasn't listening. I mean, if anything seems too good to be true, it often is too good to be true. Meaning, basically, yeah, you know what it means. You shouldn't trust it. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. I don't know how to feel about you. You've kind of done a, a heel turn here, and it's... However, that is ignorant of their true nature. True nature? If these people attack others with no remorse, why would they make a teacher and an artist apologize? Could a murder truly have been enacted by the same group? If this Sukumura incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only changed the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. But they are innocent. <laughs> I knew there was something special about you, ever since the first time we met. I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. I, I don't know how to do that. All right. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy, and... Ah, uh, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. Guys, I have such a bad feeling. There's only two people it could be, and he is like... <sighs> that kid was going on about some real complicated stuff. He's probably a good bit smarter than you, huh? Oh, I didn't notice I had gotten a response from Akechi-kun. He accepted the lecture invitation. I already knew that. Hmm, really? Either way, the real issue is what we do next. The lecture is on the afternoon of the second day, yes? Wait, you're coming to our school festival? It's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in the afternoon. You wanna come too, Futaba? Come on, it'll be fun! Seriously? I don't see why not. We should all walk around to get there tomorrow. That sounds super suspicious. Let's not. This is the perfect chance for us to relax, though. Haru, um, are you sure you're okay? This seems a little soon. I am, thank you. I have always dreamed of walking around with my school festival with friends. I suppose if you say it like that, I can resign myself to enjoying our time there, too. Thanks, Haru. It's my pleasure. This is a bad idea, you guys. Why am I the only one thinking sensibly? 